You know, the big problem that I'm having, right, is 320, yeah, is that um, nobody has ever called me except for my public defender. Yes. And I'm supposed to trust that the public defender knows what the law says. <laughs> now, um, when we think about it, okay, I have to make my own decisions about what to do. Now, it sounds good, right? I'm not an attorney. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know that you served me a criminal complaint. Yes, accusing me of these two crimes. Yeah. And I do know that I put on my drive and emailed links to the actual evidence that I wasn't there. Yes. And on June 16th of 2017, that is not harassing, intimidating, tormenting, or embarrassing. Now, um, let's say Judge Landis didn't realize, right, that um, when you use criminal complaints, the person has to be personally summonsed mm -hmm, to answer the accusation. Because I wasn't arraigned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, when you arrest somebody, yes, mm -hmm. there's a citation date, yes, and a citation number. Oh, oh, oh. But there is no citation number. Oh. 6Z0145225 Squim Police Department. Yes. Then it has this, uh, your arraignment date was on um, January 5th of 2016. Now, they, they do this in the name of the state of Washington. You're hereby summonsed and required to appear at this district court on the date and time below. Yes. Summon, subpoena, or notice. Mm -hmm. Now, it's kind of understood that when there's a citation number, yes, and a citation date that, um, well, actually, citation date is wrong. It's the day of the alleged violation. Oh, I, I'm probably going to sue you for that, but it's just a side note because I want to know now. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. uh, citation. Oh, it was issued on 1 4 of 2016. Yes. You can't say the citation date is 12 31 of 2015 unless it was actually issued. Yes. The violation date mm -hmm, is uh, 12 31 of 2015 at 7 47 a.m. Yeah. I was actually in Port Angeles at that time. <clears throat> but unless you issue a citation, yeah, it's not issued until you actually issue it. <clears throat> the citation date should say uh, the date of issue, not the date of the alleged violation. <laughs> So you understand, mm -hmm. if if a citation is not issued, yes, that can't be the citation date. It's the date of issue, not the day of the alleged violation. Right, right, right. I didn't get one of these because I wasn't really arraigned. You said it was an arraignment. Yes. But um, without there being an actual citation number, yes, where somebody had believed, right, that I had committed a crime, yes, yes, <laughs> um, it was a, a hearing, yes, of what I said about the criminal complaint, yes. Now, um, you have to have the right date. It's the date of issuance. It's not the day of the on or about violation date. Now, I've been arrested multiple times, and let's say I, I decide to really test the waters, right? And I decide not to go because Judge Landis doesn't want to go to prison, and she can't make herself take me off the docket. It's just too much for her. <laughs> and I decide, well, let's have the issue another failure to appear. Let's have you do that. And then the Port Angeles Police Department's going to be total fucking dicks. And they're going to arrest me. Now, after having sent that police department what could be hundreds of thousands of emails, is somebody from Jefferson County going to drive over here and have me arrested for failure to appear? There's no citation date. Hmm. LEA 175982. I don't know what that is. All right. Um, last known address 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Mm -hmm. 
I know that nobody read me my rights. Can you issue one of these um, citations without actually um, questioning the individual and having them arraigned? Poach. Is there an obligation? Yes. To have to read the rights of those that are accused of crimes? Yeah. Now, um, this says officer's number. I asked about this before. The violation date? Yes. 616 of 2017, and these are the two alleged violations. Uh -huh. But you used a criminal complaint. They're not violations. They're the allegation of a violation. Oh, exactly who is it that gets to decide if something's a violation or not? Law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the traffic citation again shows up. Poach. And the truth of the matter is... Mm -hmm. Uh, the violation date on or about 1231 or 2015, yes. That's when allegedly the crime took place. Mm. Mm. And uh, they issued the citation on this day, yes. And um, this, you are charged with the crime described on this form. Yeah. This accuses me of a crime without a violation. Now, you're going to issue a bench warrant, right? Mm -hmm. Put me in jail, yeah, for failure to appear tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, there is no violation, is there? No. There's the criminal complaint accusing me of committing a crime, right? Uh, original agency case number. Po -po -po. Well, this is what's known as the original uh, agency citation number. Yes. Is there some reason that the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department didn't file uh, an actual sheriff's report with a case number? Well, there's a, there's a case number 2017A0116, right? Is that the... Is that the actual case number of the district court, or is that the citation number of law enforcement that believes I committed the crime? Well, deputy prosecuting attorney, if no one reads me my rights and no one believes I committed a violation except for you as a prosecuting attorney, and you accuse me of a crime, and I have the right to appear in court if you give me summons, yes. Um, there, there must be, see, this is the original case number 20151308. Yes. But this one doesn't have a case number from the Jefferson County. Well, these two should match up, right? Original agency case number eight. Wait, it's, oh, wait here. Case number 670145225. Yes. Oh, you put that one under there. So there is a case number from the Sheriff's Department. Well, how can there be a case number from the Sheriff's Department if nobody ever arrested me, investigated me, or... Um, no, just this? Okay. Somebody did this wrong, didn't you? <laughs> Hang on just for a second here, just for a second, because I'm really thinking that... <laughs> This originating uh, agency case number 20153038, the Squim Police Department? Yes. Um, is used as the case number for the warrant for my arrest, City of Squim? Yes. And then the, the case, but there is no case number. Yes, but there is a case number there. Um. Exactly who opens a case? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're, you're Jefferson County and you're the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, right? And you didn't actually open a case, mm -hmm. but you assigned a case number to the prosecuting. Well, can you as law enforcement assign a case number to the accused without questioning the accused, without reading them? Well, I think there's a violation here. Poach. Is somebody in the Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Stanko? Yes. Acting like, well, I'm not going to file a sheriff's report. <clears throat> sheriff. What the fuck? 